Hello everyone, I'm Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about the importance of a PoE switch and a PoE IP camera system. So PoE IP camera system is a regular IP camera system which benefits from the technology, the PoE technology. The PoE technology is a method of transmitting power and data through a single Ethernet cable. It cuts like almost 50% of the cost for using a power cable to connect to our IP devices and setting up all multiple electric outlets throughout the area. So using a PoE device can help us be very easy to connect the IP device to our PoE switch and then connect the whole internet together. This network setup is very beneficial. So what part does the PoE switch play in this network setup? Well, in an IP camera system, especially in those with multiple IP devices connected, say you want to surveillance your backyard and your front, front gate at the same time, you're going to have to connect maybe two or more IP cameras to the network. If you don't connect it to a PoE switch and just like connect it directly to an MVR or something, uh, ports are not going to be enough. That's one thing. And the second, it's kind of like when all cars are driving any way they want on the street without different lanes to you know separate them from crashing to each other. A PoE switch acts, acts as a data exchange center, so all the data like multiple IP devices connected to it will transmit their data all back to this PoE switch. And then it will pack it up and upload it to the next device, we, either an NVR or the internet. If it's to the internet, it will allow us to access remotely. If it's to an NVR, we can see on the screen or we can just record it down on a hard disk drive. So the PoE switch acts as a data exchange center and also you can think of it as traffic control. It helps us let all the data transmit on its own pathway without interfering with different other data. So it's like basically on a highway, the data will run on its own lane and it won't switch lanes all the time. And if it switch lanes, it's going to interfere with the data on the next lane above it. You can see like this PoE switch right here, it has four PoE ports. You can imagine our network travel, all the data traveling in four different lanes and each port represents one lane and the data in those ports will not interfere or cause any traffic with the other data in the other ports. So basically it separates all the data into their own individual transmitting pathway which will help us get less traffic. Although if your bandwidth is not enough, it will cause a little bit of traffic as well. It's just like there's too much data, too much cars on this highway and we don't have enough exits or wide enough streets for the cars to pass through. So right now in front of me is two different PoE switches, one really big, one really small. These two are both our fast cabling products. The small one right here is tiny and it's really easy to see in the front panel there's PoE po uh, Ethernet ports divided into two groups. This one is the PoE ports, this one is the uplink ports. This is an unmanaged PoE switch. The unmanaged PoE switch, like its name, we don't have to manage it. It's a plug and play device. We plug the IP devices to the PoE ports and we plug the network or the NVR to the uplink ports. The uplink ports don't provide PoE features, so these are only for data transmission. Although they have faster network speed, up to gigabit bandwidth, and these will provide the power for the IP devices. So they are divided into two groups for different purposes and a little indicator for a very easy status monitoring and it has the power supply built in as well and a ground lane spot and the whole casing is art metal so it's really good for it to release the heat. So this is the unmanaged PoE switch. It's designed to be very small because it can fit in many places and whenever we want to like set up a mini surveillance system in our backyard or inside our house, we can place this almost anywhere and we don't have to worry about all the wiring. All we need is an Ethernet cable. So the unmanaged PoE switch, now let's talk about the another one, managed PoE switch. The managed PoE switch, you can think of it as a more legit PoE switch. So basically an unmanaged PoE switch is just like an 
easy traffic control. This one has more features. You can, you can think of it as us managing the whole traffic, either letting cars through this lane more or, you know, kind of like sometimes on the rush hours, there's going to be traffic control on the freeway. The managed POE switch allows us to divide and conquer. It allows us to give more bandwidth and power output to certain ports. Imagine these eight ports here, we can divide four and four. Some of these ports have high power output and higher bandwidth. The others will have like the minimum, minimum for it. As long as it allows the IP devices connected to operate normally, that would be enough. And these are having more power and bandwidth to sometimes if they have buffers or something, it will allow them to get more power. And you can see this one here has an LCD screen and a little rotating panel here. It allows us to do some easy adjustments and easy monitoring about the whole network system. So these indicators here will also help us monitor the status of each port. So say this IP device is currently not working. If the indicators are here are not working as well, it might mean this whole connection is, is broken. So we're going to have to uh, reconnect it with a new Ethernet cable or maybe the device is broken or damaged as well. And right here we also have uh, SFP modules which is the ability to connect to a fiber, fiber optic link. The fiber optic link is a method to transmit data further and faster. And the same as the unmanaged one, it has a, p a power supply built in so we just connect it to the electric outlets so that is our, a really brief introduction about our managed POE switch. We will have more videos talking about its features in detail. All right, now we've talked about the two different kinds of POE switches, managed and unmanaged. Let's do a little simple connection. So both of them, you can think of them as plug and play devices. So basically you plug the, the cables in the correct place and the whole thing will help us configure it first and help us show it on the screen. So now we have Ethernet cables, the POE, unmanaged POE switch, and NVR connected to a monitor. Now we're going to have to power up the POE switch. Once we plug the electric outlets power cord here, power will be going through the POE switch and then we're going to connect it first to the NVR, to the upload uplink port right here. And then next step, connecting our IP device, in this case the PTZ camera, to the POE switch. So easy plug and play will do. So the camera is rotating right now. This is its self-diagnosis. It happens every time it receives power. So this means power is currently being transmitted to this IP camera. And no, shortly we're gonna watch the live video feed on our monitor here. So right now you've seen the image on the monitor right here. This means the camera is providing us live video feed. Now that means this connection is thorough and everything is good. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have as many more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.